What's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase. I'm going to show you all a little something about Shepherd Tones. Uh, the company Vox, they have a YouTube channel and they did a very interesting movie video about how Hans Zimmer teases so much tension out of his cues. And he uses a little technique called the Shepherd Tone and I'd never heard of it. So I felt like a total noob. But then I realized that a noob is just someone who hasn't learned about something yet. So I immediately set to work in Cubase trying to recreate a shepherd tone. And I'll explain it to you and show you how I made it. So a shepherd tone, what's basically going on, and this is a good uh, indication, is you have three tones and they're all an octave apart. And the high octave goes down in volume. So we can switch this to volume or velocity. And you'll see that it goes down in velocity and the middle octave stays the same and the low octave goes up in vo velocity so that it sort of appears like there's always a motion going upwards. <laughs> So I tried this a few ways. I tried using just velocity, and then I tried using just volume automation. But I think that for my money, it worked best while using velocity automation, uh, velocity curves and volume curves. So you'll see here in the project, I use these. But if we drill into these guys here, you'll see that I also use velocity. Uh, so the pianos sound like this. And I also was able to do this for a descending line. But maybe I should have switched which one goes up and which one goes down. I don't know. This is my first foray into shepherd tones. But I also uh, did the same sort of sequencing for strings. So we can hear just the strings. And then, of course, the descending line. And then I tried it with synths using a slightly different technique. We'll mute these, we'll mute these, and we'll bring up the synths. What I did for the synths was I did a pitch bend in a line, and I set the pitch bend to an octave. So instead of a, you know, step stony up the scale type of thing, it would be just a straight line up the scale. And I did that with the line tool. You may not know about this tool, but I set the pitch bend to 12, so the top of the controller line would be 12. And I just drew, oops, drew a line straight to 12 in the beginning. And of course I did the uh, opposite thing for the descending lines. Oh, wait, I didn't do the opposite thing for the descending lines, but I could if I wanted to. So let's say you have something that you've drawn in by hand and you know you want it to go an octave. Well, you start right here at zero and draw the line down and then you have a perfect line. And that's a good way to do things like modulation and pitch bend if you want them to ramp perfectly evenly. Make sure you use the line tool. So the synths end up sounding like this. Uh, and, and I have a lot of uh, a long decay on them and a lot of resonance on them, oops. So they will make that annoying uh, ring out noise. And of course, the descending line goes like this. Okay, so you get the idea. And all of those working together create a shepherd tone type effect. And I thought it was interesting to learn about. And so I figured I would try to sequence a little, a few shepherd tones myself and then share with you all how I did it. So before I leave, let me just show you the quick way to do something like this in MIDI. I would take all these, get rid of them, and I would put on step recording. 
And I have a video about step recording, but you can, I'll leave a comment thing in the corner or whatever. So we have step recording on, and we just record a quick scale. And it's all at full velocity, which makes sense. And then we wanna just transpose it an octave. We can take off step recording at that point. We can uh, move this up by hitting the Alt key. And then we want the, this one to start loud and come down. So we use this little pull, pull tab at the side and that'll come down in velocity. And then we'll do the same thing for the lower octave. We highlight everything. And if you can't highlight everything without selecting some of the others, you can hit control and highlight more. Then I hit the Alt key. And we want that to start low and end high. So we'll and in a matter of seconds, we've created a little shepherd tone effect. Let's listen to it. Hey, and so uh, there's, you know, I use some MIDI sequencing tools and I'll leave a link to my MIDI tips video and I use some step recording to show you how to do that. But it's actually pretty self-explanatory. It's a very unique sound design thing that I didn't know about until I saw that video, which I'll link to at the end of the video. So you guys can check that out if you want to and learn more about shepherd tones and more about, you know, the composition tools that Hans Zimmer uses, especially when he works with Christopher Nolan and especially in a movie like Dunkirk. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like or subscribe or leave a comment if you want to see me do something in the future. Take care and have a great day. Bye.